Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the 15.6-inch Dell Latitude 3550. To open this laptop, you have to undo nine captive Phillips head screws. The two in the top corners are captive, and they'll lift the panel up, which makes the whole disassembly a lot easier. Use a lever tool to pop the back in the zones behind the hinges. Then, fully pry the rear as well as the sides and the front. This machine has the optional 54-watt-hour battery. The base model is a 42-watt-hour variant. To remove it, Unplug the connector from the main board and undo the five Phillips head screws that secure the unit to the base. The capacity is enough for around nine hours of video playback. To achieve that, you have to apply the best power efficiency preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu and select the Optimized Power Plan in the Dell Optimizer app. The Wi-Fi card is placed in the lower midsection of the motherboard. Since our laptop has a 13th gen CPU, the two SODIMs fit up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5, 520 MHz memory in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 96 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. The Core Ultra iterations can handle 5,600 MHz RAM. For storage upgrades, there is just one M.2 slot compatible with Gen 4 NVMe drives. Here we have a 2230 SSD with a metal bracket, but you can also install a standard 2280 unit. We found a tiny thermal pad below the NVMe drive. The 2280 units will be additionally cooled by a second pad located slightly in front. The cooling is pretty basic. It comprises one fan, a decently long heat pipe, a heat sink, and a heat spreader.